In this video, we will cover EDR Core. We will start with licensing, so you can understand what you may already have available to you, then the layered protection EDR Core provides, and then lastly, a demo of EDR Core in use. First with licensing, it is important to know that EDR Core is included with the total security suite. So it is entirely possible that you have licensing available for your endpoints right now. The number depends on the model of your appliance. This license is linked to your Firebox, so whichever account it is registered to will gain those licenses. You also cannot purchase additional licenses beyond what Total Security Suite provides. The only way to gain more EDR Core licenses is to purchase more appliances with Total Security. Importantly, an account can have only EDR Core or one of our endpoint services like EPP, EDR, or EPDR. EDR Core will be disabled when other endpoint licenses are activated to an account. You can see how many licenses are on your account under Administration, License Details, Endpoints. You may see something like this when you have both EDR Core licenses and another endpoint service licensed. That being said, each of those services include part of or the entirety of the feature set of EDR Core. So if you ever want to move to one of our independently licensed endpoint services, you can choose which features fit your needs best. Also, the endpoint licenses have additional modules that will not work with EDR Core. If you have questions or curiosities about any of the endpoint services or modules, I would recommend watching our endpoint video course or reference our documentation. Now with our licensing out of the way, I want to take a quick detour in what working with WatchGuard Endpoint looks like. Here I am inside my WatchGuard Cloud account. You can find this by going to cloud.watchguard.com and logging in with your account credentials. This particular account is fairly empty, but I can go to Monitor, Endpoints to see more of my details for my endpoints. Here we have their status, the computers on my account, and with the Add Computers button here. This is where I can find the install file for our endpoint agent. If you're more interested in automating the deployment of this agent, you can reference the endpoint course for more details. Then of course, we can find the settings available to us in the settings section. For example, inside of the per computer settings section, I can find my anti-tampering settings. For details on the settings, of course, you can reference our endpoint course or documentation. For the sake of brevity, let's cover what types of protections do you get with EDR Core. Our first line of defense is the antivirus engine. It detects known threats based on our signature files and information gathered through collective intelligence. Next, we have contextual detections. This umbrella term refers to the many components running in the background that perform behavioral analysis to automatically detect threats, trigger alerts, and block malicious content. The heuristics running in our antivirus engine are one example of contextual detections, and we have many similar technologies working behind the scenes throughout the protections we offer. Our anti-exploit technologies are the next layer of our protections. Anti-exploit protects the running processes on the endpoints from compromise. This helps prevent fileless malware from gaining a foothold on the system. The anti-exploit protections is also able to feed data about running processes back into our contextual detections to amplify their effectiveness. Then we have the threat hunting services. This team at WatchGuard tracks emerging threats discovered in the world as well as data collected from our customers and provides a human touch looking for attacks that are not being detected by automated layers of protection. With EDR Core, this is provided through ThreatSync. In short, ThreatSync will be an aggregated collection of threats from multiple platforms, not just EDR Core. This can include your Firebox appliances as well. And then from there, you can take action to help secure your environment. For more details, you can reference the ThreatSync video. There is one additional note to make with EDR Core. All of these layers are capable of stopping active threats on your endpoints, but it is not a replacement for antivirus scanning or deleting malicious files. For that, you will want to look further into our endpoint services like EPP or EPDR. All of this and more is covered thoroughly in our endpoint security course. For more detailed information about any of these individual protections, please reference that course or our documentation. That is the theory of what this protection is providing us, but what does it look like in use? Here I have a Windows computer. Windows Defender is on and working, and I have EDR Core installed and running as well without any compatibility issues. There's already three detections here from before this recording. Behind it, I have this site that I can use to test my protections. As I do this, you'll notice that there are many layers of protection here, but we will always want to increase our breadth and depth of our services. 
So to show this, I'll start by downloading this iCar test virus. First, our browser detects it, but I'll choose to keep anyway. Now, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen, again, I'll choose to keep this file, but it has a couple of extra steps to do so. Now the file is on our computer and downloaded. When I try to run that application, again, Windows tries to prevent us from running this file. I'll run anyway, and now EDR Core will stop the file, with notably zero options to run it anyway. This is the end of the line for this file. We can also see that there are now four threats blocked instead of the three before, while Windows says there are no noon threats. Notably, you'll notice that the file is still on our computer. EDR Core will not delete files from the machine. For that, you would need to potentially run a virus scan. You may see this and think that Windows Defender was able to stop this file. The problem is that our own users are often our biggest threat to security. Someone may keep selecting keep a file, or worse yet, the user disables their security services entirely. EDR Core has anti-tampering, so users cannot bypass or disable the service unless they have administrative credentials. For our key takeaways, first is to know that EDR Core is included in your total security suite, so you may already have this product available to you. Next is the layered protection that EDR Core provides. Even if it doesn't have all of the features you may want, it is a great way to get into our endpoint products and take advantage of, or potentially upgrade in the future. Then lastly, ThreatSync allows you to combine the power of your firewall appliance and endpoint protection to create a more thorough protection suite for your network and endpoints.